I'm not, I don't have to show you the video. Everybody's seen the video of what happened in Minneapolis. Um, but I just want to show you just a few things, just to keep in mind. Um, so of course, the Minneapolis police officer at the center of the George Floyd's death had been with the department since 2001. During his career, he was the subject of dozen police con- conduct complaints, and he was never disciplined. So you don't think that guy who just kneeled on the guy's neck for nine minutes straight until he died has done other unbelievable nefarious shit and that other cops know about and that he never, ever prosecuted for? Of course he has. At least probably a dozen times. So, of course, and so that's the the, the point I want to make about police in America, and I'll make this before. You know, uh, I know a lot of cops. My grandfather was a cop. My dad was a cop. My oldest brother was a cop. Some of my best friends in Chicago were cops. Went to their weddings. And they're all nice to me because they know me. But cops, uh, they're not plucked out of society. You know, they're not just like, uh, there's a certain mindset that is attracted to policing. And the ones who are attracted to it for the right reason get weeded out. That's what happens. They get weeded out. And the people who aren't okay with this kind of brutality get weeded out. People who are okay are the ones who make it. And they rise. rise. Yeah. Are, are, Are there good people who join the police force? Yes. Do they get weeded out? Yes. Or they succumb to the culture. And so there, here's a guy making sure nobody fucks with his buddy while he kills a guy. Is he a criminal? Yes. He's complicit in a murder. That's normal business. And nobody would have charged them if this videotape wasn't made public and people didn't scream about it. The cops would have been like, oh, they, he wouldn't, they would probably got a day off. Cops are out of control in America. They're an out of control, overly militarized, sociopathic group of people who we give guns and clubs to. Half of them are on steroids. Half of them came back from a war zone. These are the opposite of people you want being police. And how are they trained? They're trained to escalate. They're never, tra- it's a, you ever hear a cops, you ever hear this? I heard Barack Obama say this. Uh, a police officer's most important job is to make sure he gets home safe at night. That's not his most important job. That's not his number one job. A police officer's job is to make sure I get home safe at night. That's why you volunteer. Because you want to serve. You want to put your life on the line. Cops are the most trigger happy people in the world. They're, they are never putting their life on the line. They're shooting you first and asking questions later. Did you see the cops just on the 101 yesterday? They, they rolled, rolled over some guys in their car because they were scared. Because the cops were scared. So they get to run over people in their car. What if you're scared of the cops? What if there were cops surrounding your car and you decided to floor it and you ran some of them over? You'd be charged with murder. It's a matter if you're scared from the cops and you have a right to be scared from the cops because cops are a bunch of murdering psychopaths who have impunity to kill you. So cops are the most trigger happy, cowardly people in the country and they give them guns and then they train them to shoot first and ask questions later and to always escalate the violence. If someone doesn't obey your command, you go to the next level. They're all steroided out maniacs who dig it. They're not cops because they don't like fucking with people. They're cops because they get off on it. Do you know a cop? Have you ever met a cop? To a person, they dig it. They love it. They love the power. That's why they're cops. They get to carry a gun and tell you what to do. Oh, no, I'm trying to help my community with a gun. 
So that's I, just, I give this speech every once in a while. I don't cover these police brutality things much anymore because it's too hard emotionally for me and nothing's ever going to change. Nothing is ever going to change. They've been doing this for 40 years. Nothing is ever going to change. No one can. They're still... Where's the politician saying we should clear out our prisons? Why are we the largest penal colony in the world? Land of the free, home of the brave. Where's the politician saying we got to cut our prison population in half? Where's that guy? No, there's no, there's no one. We had a black guy as our fucking president, and we had a black guy at the head of the Justice Department. And you know what they did? Nothing. You know what they did? They sent, they sent militarized gear to all the cops in the country. That's what the first black president did. He militarized the cops in our country. So keep that in mind about cops. It's okay to generalize about them because it's a mindset that's attracted to that profession and people who don't have that mindset get weeded out or they succumb to the culture. And what is the culture? This is the culture. Me kneeling on your neck, doing whatever I feel like, and you, you watching me do it and covering for me and keeping the citizens away as I kill a guy in broad daylight. These guys are nuts. Cops in America are fucking nuts. They're out of control. Hopped up on the goofballs. They're all juicing. And they all cover for each other, which is why they're all criminals. Look what the cops did to the black and brown people in New York. You think those are decent people? Those are people who like fucking with you. That's what it takes to do stop and frisk. You have to be a little bit of a maniac to do that. And that's the kind of people who become cops. They're a little bit of a maniac already. You ever see a movie? There's a movie called Serpico. Al Pacino's a star. You should watch it. That's what policing is like. They're criminals. My neighborhood in Chicago growing up, the cops, they were all selling coke. They got bro- they all got busted. They called the Marquette 10. They were all dealing drugs, killing the people that were testifying against them. They're all criminals. That's why they're attracted to that shit. They're power hungry maniacs. And they 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 we need a complete rethinking of how we police people in America complete we had michael wood on this show a baltimore sergeant the baltimore police department who studied this at an academic as an academic and he's been on the show go watch those interviews go watch those interviews with him because you don't have to listen to me i'm just a nightclub comedian you can go listen to a guy who was uh on the job as a sergeant in the baltimore police department for how many years 10 15 20 years and now He studies police brutality as an academic. Go watch those videos. I want to remind people also that if you see violence happening, there's a good chance that it's being started by the police, by undercover police, police that are infiltrating uh, the protesters to make them look bad. That the police often do this. The police are the instigators. Police start. They they start the buildings on fire. They start shooting stuff. The, it's the police who always, almost always, are infiltrating and instigating. You know what they did at Occupy Wall Street? Look what they did in Ferguson. They're doing it here too. And guess what? They, it looks like it looks like they caught one of them. Here, watch this video. So I think he's breaking windows there. He's he's doing something. And so then they thought they saw him. They're like, "Hey, who's this?" Oh, was he trying to start a fire? Wearing an umbrella. Interesting. That's a fed. That's a. You wanna, you wanna go? Yes, what's up? Somebody hold my blunt. Hey, somebody hold my blunt. Wow. So now, hey, hey, appar- this is- apparently the guy holding the camera wasn't putting up with that guy's shit because he turned around. He went after the guy with the camera and then he turned around and walked the other way immediately. Interesting. Yeah. Are you a fucking cop? Yep. Yes. Yep. Yes. Wow. 
So that's a cop. So you want to see what he looks like here? Let's, let's take it. Real let's, goon. Let's see how they're all dressed up. He's covered head to toe. Looks like and he's got gloves. a gas. He's got a gas mask on that yep. you would get if you were a cop. So he doesn't yeah, get tear gas. Black coat. What? He goes, get away from him. I'm going to fight you right now. Why? This he's kid a cop. doesn't look aggressive. Because he's a cop, Steph. That's why. He's, a, he's an undercover cop doing illegal shit. That's why he would do that. You weren't seriously asking why he would say that, right? Oh, okay. So that's a cop that looks like to be a cop doing undercover illegal shit. That I'm just letting I'm showing you this not because I can definitively prove that's a cop, but I'm saying that's what it looks like. He has the full mask on. He's got the umbrella. He's got the gloves. He's he's fucking a little bit too dressed up. Black block. If it's black block, they're a little more shabbily dressed. They are dressed as nicely as this guy. He's pretty. He's a little too well put together. That guy. That guy. If I had to bet, would say that guy's a fed. And uh, and let's just remember. Um, it's the cops who are the criminals. We live in a criminal country. Criminals run our country. They just looted it. The criminals just looted our country in the middle of a crisis. They used a crisis to steal from us. Those are the criminals. Um, and let's remember what Martin Luther King said, shall we? Here's what he had to say. Uh, must see that riots do not develop out of thin air. Certain conditions continue to exist in our society, which must be condemned as vigorously as we condemn riots. But in the final analysis, a riot is the language of the unheard. And what is it that America has failed to hear? It has failed to hear that the plight of the Negro poor has worsened over the last few years it has failed to hear that the promises of freedom and justice have not been met, and it has failed to hear that large segments of white society are more concerned about tranquility and the status quo than about justice, equality, and humanity. And so in a real sense, our nation's summers of riots are caused by our nation's winters of delay. And as long as America postpones justice, we stand in the position of having these recurrences of violence and riots over and over again. Social justice and progress are the absolute guarantors of riot prevention. Social justice and progress are the guarantors against, uh, are the guarantors of riot prevention. I like what he said there, they, they pulled it out. This is my favorite part of that, what he just said. I must say tonight that a riot is the language of the unheard. And what is, what is it America has failed to hear? It has failed to hear that large segments of white society are more concerned about tranquility and the status quo than about justice and humanity. Yes, that's what's happening. Hey, this is the part where I tell you where our live shows are, but there aren't any. <laughs> and then I would tell you to go join our premium, but, but nobody has a fucking job. So why don't you just enjoy the video?